Right, uh, as you well know, Gerald Delaney, or those who don't know me, Gerald Delaney, a Rury Hill stud, Mr. and Mrs. Delaney, we raised us on the stud. Uh, today I brought Eddie up, Eddie Barry up, just to do a bit of a video on some of the principal stock pigeons here uh, in the individual breed pens. We did a video there a few months back, but this now is when they're made it up in here in the individual breed pens. So I want to show you some of the top pigeons and the performances they've put up and what they're made it to. So that's what we're up today. It's just a short video and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. First of all, uh, this is the Diamond Prince, a uh, drag son of the Ace of Diamonds, who was one of the best pigeons raised in Antwerp, the Ace of Diamonds was, uh, for Willie Jacobs. He was Ace Pigeon Neon Champion All Ames 2010. All, as you all know, Willie's, all his pigeons came here in 2014, uh, prior to him down in 2015. But, this cock here is a direct son of the Ace of Diamonds to uh, 102, those six hen, uh, 112, which has bred multiple, multiple winners to the couple. But this guy here is just uh, unreal for breeding. I paired him to the Blue Dirk, that's who he's paired to now, the Vanderbilt hen from Chris Van Massen out of the box, out of the box two couple. Uh, Everything from just, I mean, everything. Five generations of all winners, everyone in winners, not only club winners, open winners, national winners. That's, that's, uh, that's him there, super cock. This is the blue dirk here, the famous blue dirk. Uh, I had a box two couple. Most of the boys know the history of her when I went to Chris von Massenhoven. We brought the Massenhoven by the Van der Bolt Sims through Chris in 2013. Then I, I bought a full round in 2014, with the exception of box two, it wouldn't sell any. But then in 15 when it was over, he was showing me around them. And in my opinion, this was the best hen in the place. But that's Chris's plenty of good pigs. But in my opinion, this was the best hen. So I bought her. Thousand euro I'll give. I'll give two thousand for the first. Uh, brought her home and I made her to this cock here, Diamond Prince. Uh, the first three young birds bred is three thousand, three and a half thousand pounds worth of prize money. But this is this is her here. Super fantastic egg here. Uh, uh, she's a granddaughter of the Dunker and Leo. But. Everything from that hand, open winners. The first two young ones were brought off are Diamond Princess. I give them to the grandchildren, they race here. Um, Diamond Princess won first open for Moy, and then first open for Moy, uh, Five Bird Classic, that's the NIPA. Uh, you'll see her in a month or two. Fantastic hand, fantastic green hand. But to me, I would rate that hand there lower than anybody's bond of books in the world. That, Everything off her, just a, a pure gold mine. No matter what I made her to, just a gold mine. This, this cock here, this blue cock, that's the cock that won the, the Young Bird National for me in IPA National in uh, 2018 on the Sunday. On the Friday, I won first open all Northern Ireland, uh, Skibberine National. Uh, but this cock here, this was opposite Friday that on Sunday, he won first all Northern Ireland. We ended up first, uh, first third and eighth open all Northern Ireland. Well, NIPA National on Sunday. But uh, he's the direct son of Cousin Kettle One. And as far as uh, a Vanderbilt two, Cousin Kettle One is a Vanderbilt. She was a cousin of the Kettle. Uh, and his father is a grandson of Box Two from Chris Van Massenhoven. The hen, that's the hen I was speaking about a minute ago there, Diamond Princess, who won first open for my, first open for my classic for the grandchildren. She also bred the hen that won first open in the gold ring race. And in turn that hen bred the open winner for Cormac O'Hara 2018.
That's a super cock here. That's what I say. He, he won the Young Bird National 2017 for myself. Uh, we got two together and we ended up first and third. The grandchildren lost a wee bit of time in theirs. They ended up third. Uh, I won it. The grandchildren were third open and then I was eighth open again. That's a super cock there. He's pure Vanderbilt, Dirk Vanderbilt. I have to catch all with my left hand for my right hand fell and it was very awkward at times just catching. This is the famous Diamond Princess, another super, super, besides the racing uh, breeding, she's just unreal. Again, coming down, she's the direct daughter of Diamond Prince and the Blue Dirk, as I call that hen, the Blue Dirk. So that, she would be half Willie Jacobs, half Vanderbilt. She's just getting a bit eggy. She has a super hand. That's perfect to call her. She's a direct daughter of uh, the King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds has bred six open winners. He's a direct Willie Jacob Cock. He's a full bra to uh, the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, she's she's out of the King of Diamonds and the Von Herkham, the good Von Herkham 399, who's a full sister to the champion battle, the National Ace Pigeon, Willie Von Herk bred the battle. Uh, She's a full sister to Willie's Pride, who won the, he won the national here. He won the section the first week, then he won the national, and then he got disqualified because his ring card wasn't stopped in the rabbit. But uh, he can't advertise it was one in the national. But uh, that's a super heavy there. See, when you lift these pigeons. I call her aerodynamic, their tail does not go out like a fan tail. All hook tails, 11 flights, a good lot of all these pigeons, she has 11 flights. See when you do this here, their tails are not spread, strong back. Everything from that hen again, winners, just super, super breeding hen. And that's what I say, she's a full sister to Willie's Pride, a direct She's the direct daughter of the King of Diamonds and Champion 399, sister to the Battle National East Champion. The young bird is just chipping out there in the second round. I brought four out of the race team of the year there. Uh, this is the cock here, he was here. He's, uh, he's a direct son of Willie's Pride. But lost the national thing, not being stamped, but Willie's Pride would just talk about him. Uh, that's a direct son. But Willie's Pride was made it to Diamond Princess, the hen that won the two opens out of her moi. Um, this is the cock, he, he ended up third national. He was there along with mine. He was the grandchildren. He was there along with mine, and I won the national. So there's the national winner, Willie's Pride, and the head won the two opens. Could have bred the nice winner as easy as mine. The nice winner could have bred the nice winner. So I just pulled him off the race team of the year there. I'm not going to race him anymore. I think he's just a fantastic pigeon. So that's aunt and nephew paired together there. That's my ambition here breed an elite team pigeons that no matter which one, close your eyes and no matter which one you lift is capable of winning nationals, winning open so that's, I suppose it's everybody's ambition that but well this team of pigeons that I'm because they're all, they've all been open winners out of from Wire or Scarberry, Skibberine, 150 mile up, to me there's nothing that'll beat them on a headwind day, I'm not talking about blow homes, 2100, I'm talking about from 1100 up to about 14 and a half, that's that's my ambition to do with these pigeons here and having these pens. 
this here is the famous Willie's Pride that I spoke about there. Uh, Catch him with his left hand a wee bit. Again, you see their tails straight tails, strong chest, strong fronts, up tails, one tail feather. That's his 11 flighter, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 flight. He's the direct son of the King of Diamonds and Champion 339, Willie Van Hirsch, hen of the battle, uh, full sister to the battle. And he was bred by Willie Jacobs. Willie Jacobs bought that hen from uh, Willie Van Herk in 99. Oh, a big strong flights here, father's here, this broad father. But again, uh, as I say, that, that pigeon there was third national, he's the father of it. This is his half sister, she's another direct daughter of the King of Diamonds. That's half brother and sister made it together there. That's a beautiful hen there, 09 hen. So, keep it in breathing there. So, that's that couple. This is Double Diamond, who is an ex mate to Diamond Princess, that won the two Hub one out of Formoy and Formoy Classic. I bred the pigeon that was third national. Uh, it was there, I won it, but it was there along with mine. But he bred me the pigeon on Friday that I was first on Northern Ireland skippering with. So he could have bred the winner on, he bred the winner on Friday. And Diamond Princess, her young bird was there to win the national. Only for not travel, probably the club, not the club. Three nest mates could have bred the two open winners or whatever you want to call the off section winner. And again, he's direct out he's direct out a diamond prince on the blue dirt can, the blue bandable can. And that, that's another super super breeding cop there. I paired him 2019 last year past there to uh, cousin Kittle One. Now cousin Kittle One uh, I bought her from Masson Hogan at that time in 2014. She has bred three first open winners, including the national winner, and she bred me, turned to this cock here, she bred me the pigeon was second open out of Fermoy Youngburst this year. So she's bred three open winners and a second open winner. He has bred a second open winner and a first North Saxon winner. So again, 11 flights, strong wings, strong feathers in the back, again, very dynamic. Tail one father. There's another good Willie Jacob head here. This is she's off Rough Diamond, who has bred four open winners. Uh, made it to a daughter of the King of Diamonds. Well, I believe that Willie Jacob bred this head in 2014. But there's another class hen here, strong. Her father was Rough Diamond and uh, he was just pitching for Willie, but spread for open winners. A grandson, a grandson of Rough Diamond was first national uh, Penzance Classic and was first national Talbani, Youngbird National. This is another son of the King of Diamonds here. Uh, Met to the Vanderbilt claim. This is a full broad to Joe 90, who won five, he got five races. I bred him for Andy, Andy Cook up in Ballycarry near Larn. He got five races as a young bird, won all five of them. Was fifth young bird national. He was sold there a few months ago for 4,200. This is a super pigeon here. Nice long cast cock, but like the father. Just 
strong fathers here. Get big white strong fathers. This is the Van Hurt Ken. This is another sister to the, the battle of the Nationalist Champion, Red for Willie Van Hurt. That's a, a sister to the battle. That's the son of the King of Di the Ace of Diamonds there. I'm not catching for sure, but catching that card on his left hand. And that's the son of the, Ace of the Ace of Diamonds. And the hen is another Van Herc hen, a full sister to the Battle of Nationalist Pigeon. This is uh, what I call the famous King Dirk. He's a direct son of the King of Diamonds and um, Van der Bolt on the other side. Uh, he's, a half, he's a brother to Joe Knightley that we were speaking about there. This is probably the, the best breeding copper cup out of the King of Diamonds, in my opinion. Uh, he's very like the King of Diamonds in every way, handling wise. Again, 11 flights, 3, 6, 9, 10. 11 flights, again. What a super fantastic guy like the King of Diamonds. But he has bred multiple winners to this cock. Uh, he was one of the, really the first ones to bred off him to that couple, but. Uh, yeah, but he's full of raw to Joe Nigel that I'm only after speaking about. On the mother, uh, she's a granddaughter of Staffan on uh, 300, I think it is. But, uh, yeah, the mother of him, the good you'll see her in a moment there. She's a granddaughter of Staffan. This hen here, this is a full sister in 2015. I went to Gustav Bookman's on about six and ordered a complete round for 2016. Uh, 30 direct from Gustav Bookman between, four, between 15 and 16. But in 2016, he was champion with champion 403. I think. Van Dijk, went and bought him, or, I think Danny Van Dijk, or Dirk Van Dijk went and bought him, but he was also champion KDB with the Young Birds, and Van Dijk went and bought it too. But this is, that's, anyway, this is a full sister, direct full sister to champion 403 here, this hen here, from Gustav Bookman. Um, I'm led to believe that he's champion this year again, Bookman. That couple of so he's a direct son of the King of Diamonds. She's a direct sister to Champion 403 from Bookman. This is a real super bred cock gifford. He's a grandson of the Issa Diamonds. He's a grandson of the King of Diamonds. He's a grandson of the good Van Herc Hen 399. And he's a grandson of 112, who is the mother of the Diamond Prince. So he's just, he couldn't get much better breeding than that cock there. And that the hen is a direct daughter. So leave it why that's why I'm not going to be catch her. Uh, she's the direct daughter of uh, the blue dirk hen. When the blue dirk hen was mated to uh, Burkdale Express, who won 12 individual first and five times first combine, I think. And he was a grumbler. He was a grumbler, Felix Powell, or grumbler, uh, well, a jig pigeon. Now the feeding here, as you can see, most all the feeding really that I use here is all from Fraser's, all breeding mixture, breeding elite and that type of stuff, breeding weed. This here, to go mad for this, is basically uh, Fraser, Fraser grit and uh, they call it that stuff. Home, that's right. Fraser form they call it, something similar to home form. Fraser form, I mix the two together and also put a wee bit of aniseed in it. See when you put aniseed in anything, it just goes stone mad for it with aniseed in it. So that's vitamins. Uh, this time we're getting vitamins. Uh, well, these ones here are getting. Those are ones next door is getting vitamins in the water. These ones here very little water from treating them now. Uh, with a four and one from Blue Sky from Philip Doctor Philip Quinn. It's one of the best products I have found to be honest. I've used all the products, but for a four and one. 
salmonella, cod, typhoid, E. coli and the respiratory. And you never have a sick pigeon using it. To me, it's one of the best products, and he says it's not your product. I don't know what it is or not, but uh, it's supposed to be not your products. I use it on the drink of water. Their droppings are always perfect using it. This, this pair here, this is the father of the national water, the blue cockle, the, the national water from 2017. Uh, he's direct Chris Van Massen over in Vanderbilt again. Uh, he's, a grandson, he's a grandson of the Box 2 couple. The Blue Dirt is a direct daughter of the Box 2 couple. He's a grandson of the Box 2 couple. Now, this was one of the hens that I bought from Gustav Buchmann. Uh, now, she was paired to that first cat I showed you there, the King. King Dirt. I call him. And that produced the pigeon that was third up on in uh, the national, third north section in the national for the grandchildren in 2017. She's the mother of it, but she's spread about five first prize winners on hand there. That we mainly kept the one for the grandchildren was third up on, and it was won twice since that too. Uh, but he, 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 he's a great caucus. He's not a big pigeon, uh, but he certainly can produce the winners. Not really. There, there's Gurney, her, 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 her mother is, is a good Gurney hen, or Gurney hen of Gurney. This is a good cock, an eight cock, but he's from the famous 112, who is a drag daughter of the Box 2 couple. He's not a big pigeon, but he, he certainly produces winners. But she's a beautiful hand, this hand. This really top class hand here from Gustav Bickman. And strong backs, narrow tails, broad chest. She, she read the pigeon, but they're in the night, but I, I are no Saxon. End up there, no Saxon. This cop but here, he's a direct son of the Ace of Diamonds, um, the mother of Joe Knight. Uh, so he's a half brother to Joe Knight, uh, this cop here. And he'd be a half brother to the Chagger Cup, King Dirk. But this is diamond cutter, call him diamond cutter, beautiful white plate cock. But a son of him won Dremore. He was first club, first section, third open out of Vermoy, 2018, I think it was, 2018, yeah, 2018. Where he should never have counted over here. The boys that beat me were up in Balamone, second open Balamone. I was third open in IPA. But he won Dremore that day by nearly 14 minutes, so he did. I call him Home Alone, but he's a drag son of this cock here. And I say he's, uh, he's off the Ace of Diamonds to the modern Joe 90, you'll see her in a second here. The hand there is a, she's a daughter of Willie's Pride. And there's a daughter of Willie's Pride. He's the mother of Joe 90 and all those good pigeons there. Uh, she's a granddaughter of Staffan on the 300 hen, I think it is, yeah, Stephen, 300. She's a, a, a granddaughter of it. Bought again, they, those there again were bought in 2014 from Chris Van Mastel. All, the, all those ones that I had bought from Chris have been grandchildren of staff, the good red, the broad, the good red, the dumper, Leo. This cock here, he's a direct son of Cousin Kettle 2, who's the nest mate of Cousin Kettle 1. As I said earlier, Cousin Kettle 1 bred three open winners, including the national winner and a second open winner this year. Cousin Kettle 2 bred the Scottish national winner and has bred me at least, has bred here at least 10, 12 first prize winners. Again, 
this cap here, uh, cotton kettle one and two, they were bandwagon pigeons, they were grandchildren of the good red. And uh, this cotton kettle two was made to a blue white flight hen who was brought to our cross Willie Jacobs. That's a super cop there, red lot of good things. This is the more of Joe Ninety and Diamond Cutter, which is the grandma of Home Alone that won't remove but nearly 14 minutes out of for my 175 mile race, third open in IPA that day. Super hen, not big again, not a biggish hen, uh, but she's a granddaughter of Staffan on the 300 hen from Vanderbilt. Uh, as I say, she's the grandma. She's a, She's the mother of Joe Ninety, who won five first and fifth national out of five races. Sold out for four thousand two hundred pounds. This cop here, that's that's out of the famous three nine nine. Uh, the Van Herkham full sister to the Battle National Ace Pigeon from Willie Van Herk. Uh, he has bred. Oh, I don't know. Maybe about ten first prize winners, but he bred a pigeon. Won the open for a fellow up in Uri. A young fellow won first open in Uri. Well, should have won the open NIPI the week previous to that. But his father was uh, Sean Diamond, as I call him. Uh, the nice, the nice pie. Uh, he was first ace pigeon for Willie Jacobs to buy that cock. So he's had the ace pigeon made to the Van Herkham sister, the national ace pigeon. That's a, that's a good pigeon there. Again, he's bred by Willie Jacobs. Beautiful dark eyed pigeon, not brown tie by. Really top class. He raced for Willie, uh, I don't know how well he raced for that, it was 2014 and he only got raced as a young bird for Willie, but good flights, the length of the flights and stuff. Again, broad feathers here. No big white tails. Made to a direct daughter of the Ace of Diamonds. Check a white flight hen, that's a direct daughter of the Ace of Diamonds. Went her to that last hen. Uh, showed you there. Hopefully, this is one of the star breeding couple for brought this couple specifically out of the race team. Uh, this is the hen here. She won the, the gold ring race for the grandchildren. She bred. Cormac O'Hare's first NIP open winner out of Vermoy. Uh, won a lot of prizes for the grandchildren, but her brother to the stock loft. Uh, to me, she's just a perfect pigeon. Strong back, good tail, hooked tail. Ian brought fathers here. She's only a 17 pigeon, but I think she'll make a fantastic stock here, so she's up here anyway, hopefully, to do the job. And this was, she's a direct daughter. She's a direct daughter of Diamond Princess, who won the two opens out of Vermoy, and she's a, a direct daughter of Diamond Prince and the Blue Dirt, so. Winner after winner, as we say, at least four generations of winners. This is a cock, he's out of. Uh, 
those would be, these are the two cousins really made together here. Uh, we brought him out up out of my race type too. As the cock that won first all Northern Ireland in 2017. And a strong north northeast wind. North northwest wind, sorry. Again, broad fires, narrow tail. Great expectations for the young boards out of this. Not only winners, winners, open, not winners, but open winners. He, he, he was first up on all north and armed. She won the gold ring race out of Vermoy. I'm sorry, out of Skibbereen, she won it. And he won the all north and armed out of Skibbereen. So hopefully they'll do the job on her together. This is an ace made a cousin Kettle won who has saved breath to the open winners, the second open winner. He bred the national winner in 2015, Scottish national winner. He's bred at least 10 or 12 horse prize winners. He's a grandson to the bra of the good red. I think when he was made of one 4,000 hen or 40,000 hen as a grandmother. I think that's right. But super vulnerable pigeon. Again, not overly big, but certainly produces the winners. Again, strong back. Nice whip tail. Just two young ones out there. I'll have to move them maybe today or tomorrow. This couple here is a special couple here. I hope they are anyway. Uh, when I was over in Belgium there about November time, I went to Massenhoven's Christmas. This from Massenhoven. And I bought this cock here. He's a grandson of the box two couple. I think he has won our two or three first prizes, two or three seconds and two or three third prizes. So I bought him to cross into mine. The Vanderbilt is coming down through box two couple. He's a grandson of the box two couple. Beautiful handling pigeon, beautiful. Again, strong chest, hook tail. He's a performance pigeon too, so we'll, this is his first year of breeding, so we'll see how he goes. I just shifted his baby's first children there three or four days ago. class here. This is a direct daughter of the King of Diamonds on the Van Herc 399 hen. She's full sister to Willie's Pride and all those good pigeons. Again 11 flights. But she's bred multiple winners this hen here. Uh, the day at our first, first, third and eighth open in the National. Uh, she bred the pigeon was eighth National. Uh, she was paired to a son of the Blue Leo. That's what produced the pigeon was yes, the national. It was only a minute actually behind the first two pigeons, but I took the first, third, and eighth open that day. Um, the eighth open winner was off her, eighth national, but she made some fantastic pigeons. This big, strong, powerful pigeon like the, the King of Diamonds. Father, our father is the King of Diamonds. This hen is a full sister to this and King of Diamonds, an 09 hen. We had lots and lots of good pigeons here, winners I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not catching but he's a bit wild that big cock. But he's another Von Hurt cock. He's a full broad to the battle of the National Lace Pigeon. Uh, both those pigeons bred a lot of good pigeons. Uh, but that's what she's a real classy looking hen. She's a full, she's a full sister to the Ace King of Diamonds. And he's a very jumpy pigeon. This couple here, the hen, that's the This is the famous Frill Hen. She's won nine first prizes here. She should have won the Open NIP Open three times. I think she's maybe two seconds and a third, or two thirds and a second. A bad trapper, was always there to win. Uh, but super, super flat hen. But this was all at the one distance, 120 miles. She was nearly, virtually unbeatable at 120 miles, this hen. She was a real flying machine, but a very bad trapper. 
uh, her breeding would be Grundlar, Willie Jacobs, and uh, Josh Van de Beggen. Handle. He doesn't like to be caught, he's a real fighter. And his nest mates the same would eat you alive. Now, when Willie was dying, I said to Willie, Where do I go to now? I know I don't need to go anywhere, but where would I go to buy good pigeons? He says, Two people. He says, Amiel Dillon and Vanderbrand Brothers. So I bought 30 from each of them, and this is from Vanderbrand Brothers. This cock here. I want again to buy a complete round from them. 30 in total I bought. So, again, but I, I know one author that last year was the first year really of breeding it for their late breads when I bought them. Uh, there was two pigeons really, really raised well for a guy up in Scott, up in uh, the northeast of England, off this cock here. So we'll have to see just really how he does. That's what you need on your pigeons to Right, there's an R special couple here. Uh, the hen on the nest, that is, she's a granddaughter of the Good Red, Vanderbilt, she's a direct daughter. She was one of the ones that I bought from Chris Van Massenhoff and I bought the, the fit around in 2014. As the direct son of the Issa Diamonds made it to the Blue Dirk. So what? The Blue Dirk is direct out of the box two couple from Chris Von Massenhoven. It's a super pigeon here, really. Top, top class pigeon. You know, all the characteristics like Nora Tail, Don't Fly all over the place, White Feathers, Good Handling Pigeon. Classic egg cap too. So again, we will have Willie Jacobs cross Vanderbilt. He is. And she's a, she's a granddaughter of the Good Red from Vanderbilt. These are the ones that I bought from Chris Van Massenhoven in 2014. Always said Chris had the best from Vanderbilt for it. He was there in 2011 and he bought it. He bought his pigeons of Vanderbilt in 2011 from all his top pigeons. Before Vanderbilt started to sell out the Dunker and Leo, the Good Red, the Broad, the Good Red. This is what these pigeons are all off when Chris bought them. And Vanderbilt owned all those pigeons in 2011. And I bought these here in 2013, 2014 from Chris. how that couple goes. That's the first time they have been together. This couple here, this, that's the nest made of the black cock. Um, he's Van de Brown, that cock, and that's a Willie Van Herkham. Again, full sister to the battle, National Race Pigeon. That's, I think I have six of them here, correct? From Willie Van Herkham, see my bread as the battle. Over the years, uh, first went to Willie Van Herk. 2001 I think it was or two and over the years for four consecutive years I bought a full round every year I think I've maybe had 140 direct from Willie Van Herk I bought the best pigeon Willie ever owned was uh, Zeta Campin 1 I bought her off Willie she was a super hen and I bought the golden couple then that was back in 2003 or something I bought those pigeons from Willie but in total, I probably had about 140 direct from Willie Van Hart. That's another direct son of the Ace of Diamonds here. Another Jacob Pan here. Not catch a pretty good jumpy that fit in there. Shoot out past me, his bottom. on it. He's off uh, one of the top stock hands of Willie's 639. Was the mother of that cop there. Super. He'll spread a lot of good pigeons there, but he's a direct son of the Ace of Diamonds. 
this pair here, this is from Willie's Pride. This, this is basically Van der Bulk Jacobs here, my own off the cream, this pair here. Uh, double diamond, diamond princess, all the, all the breeds in this couple. This is just a youngish couple here trying out, but great expectations from, hopefully from this couple here. All the best of the best of the best. There's an Willie Jacob Cock. Uh, he's a direct son of the East Pigeon for Willie Sean Diamond, as we call him. But he has bred up, oh, I don't know, at least 10, 12 first prize owners. This cock is a super breeding cock here. Uh, this, I have a minute here to a daughter of uh, the Blue Dirk from Mass and Open Out of Box 2. I'll not catch a freeze, we've got the jumpiest cock here. But uh, a really, really top class pigeon, this here. There's another good couple here. Uh, this is one of Chris from Mastodon's Vanderbilt that I bought at that time. He's a grandson. Of, he's a grandson of the Good Red, and a grandson of Nine Nine Eight. It's the mother and the grandmother. Uh, the hen is a granddaughter of the Duncan Leo. Uh, really, really cute, cute top class pigeons. So basically, those are Vanderbilt. Those couple there. That's what I say. She's a granddaughter of Duncan Leo. He's the grandson of the, the good red. This, this mealy cock, he's an Amiel Dillon pigeon. As I mentioned earlier, Willie said the two men to go to was Amiel Dillon and Van der Brothers. So I went to Amiel and I bought 10 and then I bought North. And totally have 30 direct from Amiel Dillon off his best then. Uh, but this cock here, there's been nine raced off this cock to two different hens. There were six first prize winners and two second prize winners of the nine pigeons raced. A real super, super cockpit. Again, all these broad feathers, strong backs, narrow tails, no spreading out. To me, these are the pigeons. A son of him, he only got three races for me the year. He, got, he was hit with a hawk coming out of Skibbereen as a young bird. And uh, he didn't want to come out of the loft, so I just had to train him this year, really. He wouldn't fly around the loft. But uh, he ended up in the last old bird race, Inland, I uh, took the first six in Dremore, but I was first and second winning Dremore by 60 yards a minute. I won it with uh, a daughter out of the Blue Dirk on Diamond Prince, and I was second section then. We were first, we took the first three in the section, but we were first section with a daughter of the, the Blue Dirk on Diamond Prince, and second section was son of this cock here. And that's what I say, the one drew more by 60 yards a minute that day, drew more HPS by 60 yards a minute, 175 miles. So that's a sort of, again, in a north wind. There's a real super, super cock here, this cock. Uh, bred multiple winners. He's a direct, he's a direct son of a very supreme one of, one of the first pigeons that, uh, in 2002, were the first Willie Jacob pigeons that I brought, brought in. And one of them turned out to be a really supreme. Second national, fourth national, fifth national, I think ninth national. He bred the national winner for Paul Hart. He's the grandfather of at least four national winners. All just a, a super racing pigeon, but this is the direct son of from here. Made it to uh, one of the Von Herkens that I had. Well, actually, his mother would have been Von Herk uh, cross Josh Van de Vegen. Would have been the mother of this cock. Red to very supreme. Such a super fantastic egg pigeon. Again, the big broad underwing feathers here. Tail the same, strong, but oh, he's bred multiple, multiple winners. He's 2000, double wrong too, you know, so you have to be special. He's made it to uh, as, as a daughter of the King of Diamonds that hand there, so that's the first time they've been made it together. But he has bred multiple winners at top there. Be another brother to Joe Ninety, this cock here, that's out of the King of Diamonds. Uh, no, sorry, he's not it. He's out of he'll be the same as Willie's Pride. He, he's out of the King of Diamonds made to the Van Herk hen. So he'll be a half brother to Joe Ninety and to Dick. Diamond, uh, King Dirk and those pigeons. 
that's a good pigeon there. He has done a lot of winning for me, that. Or breeding for me. And again, that's another Jacob pile, and he's made it too. He's a fighter at this point, he doesn't like to be caught. This is the famous Birkdale Express. I think he won 12 first. I think it was maybe four or five times first federation or combine this cock racing. He's virtually unbeaten. He pulls every week, he won pulls everything when he's racing. I was way over in Berkeley, he raced the Berkdale Federation, but I bred both parents of him. Um, he's Grundelar, Willie Jacobs, that's breeding. But I bred both parents of him. And uh, then I bought him back and the mother from back again. But uh, little did I know at the time, the more this cock was a sister to the policewoman of mine who was one of my top stock hands, 999. Uh, so he's super, super bred, but he doesn't like to be held and he's a real fighter. But I wouldn't have caught shooting, but you know. And that's a, again, that's a daughter of uh, Diamond, Di Diamond Prince on the Blue Dirk hen that he's made it to. So that should be real top class breeding there. This is another son of the uh, King of Diamonds here. There's a real top class pigeon here. Uh, bred, he was bred by Willie himself, Willie Jacobs, this cop here. So he, he was off the King of Diamonds to uh, 639, the 06 stock here. But he has bred a lot of winners, that cop, a really top class. But all, all, the, all those sons of the Ace and King of Diamonds, on real and bronze, so they just keep breeding winners, winners. But he's a super breeding cock up. Again, this is a young couple here I put in. Uh, all the best lines of Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Willie's Pride, Diamond Princess, they're all, you see, the grandchildren of them all. Uh, so I'm just trying to let it think. I think it should have something special out of them. But I say there's only a new couple I put in here this year. He's a young man, he's a young man. Uh, there's a Willie Jacob cock here. He's a full bra he's a direct son of the King of Diamonds, he's a full bra to Willie's Pride. But he was the ace pigeon for Willie Jacob over in Belgium. Uh, his nest mate's a blue hen that I showed you a big blue hen. He's bred multiple winners, bred the pigeon was eight open in the young bird national. This is a really top top class cock here. Just one of there. a big nut brown eye, this cock here near enough. I'll take that. He takes the eye up to the mother of the Van Herkel 399. Uh, but again, he would have bred, I don't know, 10 or 12. I bring off our near enough winners, 10 or 12 first prize winners from ourselves and other people. Again, strong wing, good tail. But he's, a, he's a direct son of the King of Diamonds. This is a beautiful hen, a late bred hen. She's, uh, she's off Double Diamond, who bred the Skibberine North Saxon winner. Bred me the cock that was young cock this year, 2019. Uh, that was second, second open, first club second open. Had it for my young birds. Uh, and he's the nest mate to Diamond Princess. The mother of this pigeon here is Blue Lagoon who won first open East End Combine out of Talbani. Then the following week was sixth open out of Bude East End Combine. Won the Mandatorious Award for Best Performance East End Combine. Uh, she's the model of this pigeon here. So really top class breeding there. So. There's not really open winners in that nest box there. He, he was ace pigeon, and her mother was ace pigeon, or mandatory award winner. 
and his half brother and sister both bred out of the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, this is another one of the young cops that were brought up from the racing loft. Uh, two good pigeons to be killed by the hogs or something. I just brought them up here for, for breeding. Yeah, big strong, strong front. Big head, just like he, he's direct off the Ace of Diamonds. And she, I, I bred him. That, the hen was bred by Willie Jacobs himself. She's direct from the Ace of Diamonds. These are two more half brother sister. Yeah, both of those bred by Willie Jacobs, those are tracked off the Ace of Diamonds, both of those are off, off the Ace of Diamonds, who was Ace Pigeon Neon and Champion Pigeon Orleans, 2010 for Willie. Uh, so that's half brother and sister again. Again, this is this half brother and sister again, both of them out of the King of Diamonds. Uh, Willie, bred, Willie Jacobs bred the hen, I bred the cop when he came here. Uh, he's a full brother to the Willie's Pride, champion Willie's Pride, they call him. That's a full brother, but I bred him here. So the King of Diamonds is far, the good fan her can 399 is mother. And Willie Jacobs bred him that, but she's direct out of the King of Diamonds. So half brother and sister again. But he has bred to a good pigeon. He's, he's bred about four for his prize. Prize winners already, that's cocked there, at least four. This is the famous Ace of Diamonds here, uh, 2009 pigeon. With, uh, he was Ace Pigeon Neon, Ace Champion, Pigeon All Lanes. Basically, this is one of the top pigeons racing around that area. Uh, not worth real super pigeon, but he's bred at least. He's bred at least four open winners, maybe five, but grandchildren of this, grandchildren of that, but he's a grandfather, or he's the father of Diamond Prince and all those good pigeons. His brother is the King of Diamonds, who's bred six open winners. Rough Diamond, who he's the uh, uncle of. Rough Diamond's mother was a sister to this King of Diamonds. He has bred uh, at least four open winners. But, um, I'll meet, I'll meet him up in another two or three weeks just from the wag, it's a wee bit warmer. But really what I was just showing you is some of the some of the pigeons and the top pigeons or hopefully the top pigeons and the individual pens, you know, around by breeding off and racing our cells the year. Uh, we'll just have a quick run round the, just to look around the main big breeding part there where maybe we'll buy them up a lot cheaper than one thing in our but it's just as good to come out of there probably as come out of these pens. But these are performance pigeons here, so uh, we'll do them and then we'll have a wee shot across the road for a race. This, uh, this was one of the Amiel Dillon cops here. Uh, we brought him, he has bred at least six first prize winners this cop here. His two brothers, one was Ace Pigeon, the other was Double Ace Pigeon, and his father was Double Ace Pigeon for Amiel Dillon. Real, real top class cop this here. You know, I expect a whole lot more from him, but done very well at the moment. This is the lot where all the breeding's done. I think there's 270 odd breed couple in this this shed here. Nice big area place. You wouldn't smell pigeons, no nothing. Just, uh, but this year we're maybe about two weeks. I took a bad flu after I came back from the Doncaster show and I'm maybe just about two weeks, two and a half weeks behind schedule of the year so I apologise to people who's waiting for pigeons for young bird, but you will get them in due course. When I went to Josh Van de Begen's, it took me three years to get them from Josh Van de Begen. And it took me three years to get to Willie Jacobs, so hopefully two to three weeks he's going to wait to get the best. This section here would be a lot of the cops mainly uh, are all the original Chris Van Massenhoven pigeons that I brought in in 2013-14, the Van Bone pigeons from Chris. Couple of old cocks up on the top of the 13 ones in. That is here, all the, the 14 cocks. But really, really breeding well. Uh, producing a lot of winners. Crossed with the Willie Jacobs, crossed with the Bob Herx. Really 
top class pitches coming from. The bad books, they're, they're good pitches. Like I've always said, Willie Jacks are the best. Rumblar, Willie Jacks are the best. But when I see the cross them in with the Van Herks, cross them in with the Vanderbilt, really brings out the best of all four breeds, really, you know. And ship across and pitching the Grumblar and the Jacobs, but I found when I've crossed them in with the, the, the Vanderbilt pitches are really setting the, setting the pace, along with the, those six pigeons from uh, the battle from the National Ace Pigeon from uh, Willie Van Hurt, you know, really, I think, the top class. Uh, this section here are mainly Grumblar cups crossed with Jacob Hens and that type of stuff. Uh, Next time that I get the Addy up, it'll be really to do on the Grundlaw pigeons. Uh, another two or three weeks, I'll be starting to make all the old Grundlaw pigeons up. I like right about May time to bring all the original Grundlaws together, the pure what I would call pure Grundlaws together. Like there's every spill of them over there, hundreds of them, all what I would call pure Grundlaw pigeons. Uh, but those cups there, those are all all produced good pigeons. But they would all be Grumblar cocks mainly to Jacob type hands. This, this section here would be mainly Gustav Bickman pigeons. All cocks anywhere, all Gustav Bickman's, with the exception of one, that Charter cock there. These are all the Gustav Bickman pigeons that I bought in 2015-16. From uh, all top pigeons. I bought a full round in 16 and I bought six. I think it was 6 of 2015, uh, 24 of 2016. That's what I say that they were up 403, champion 403, uh, daughter champion 403, of sister to 403. So I had the best from Bookman before Bookman anybody ever really knew him. And uh, as I was saying, 2016 he turned around, he was champion old board with 403, he was champion young board KDB and young boards. Those are mainly Vanderbilt Cross Gearney pitches, or Gearnick, or whatever you want to call them. That's what the new stuff is on pitches are, for Josh Cool, that type of thing. But, uh, I remember in the video that they did on, on uh, Dirk Vanderbilt, they asked who would you go to buy pigeons off. The two pigeons, the people he said, was Josh Cool's and Gustav Bookman, so you couldn't get any better recommendation than that there, you know. So. Right, we're over here at the racing sections now, over across the road really, where I do the racing from, but there's the cock I was talk talking to you about uh, Home Alone, where he was, he was first club, first section, third open, and we shouldn't have counted in north, north, east wind. Uh, the pigeons have beat him up Balamoney when he was second open. Uh, he won Dremore, Dremore HPS, but nearly, somewhere around about 14 minutes that day, out of for my 175 mile. But, um, Super Caucus here. He's a, he's a, he's a grandson of uh, Ace of Diamonds. Uh, his father would be a half brother Joe Nainta, and won the five first for Andy Cook. This young cock here, he was third, nicer for the grandchildren, 2017. Uh, I was there long when I won, I won the North section. I had Skibbereen that day, and it was their long amount, but they're clocked in red, so they like a beat by yard into third position that day. But he has won three fours in total, this cock. He's out of the red Gustav Bookman hen, you'll see uh, uh, King Dirk. Uh, he's a, King Dirk is out of the, the King of Diamonds, so he's a well bred cock. Oh, not overly big again, but real crack and racing wee pigeon this here, so he has been a three quarter of Vanderbilt. Order, order Jacobs, Willie Jacobs, you know. So.